if you guys would like to know how I bleach my hair like this because I have been bleaching my hair ever since I was like 13 I want to say let me tell you guys a little short story so long story short I was like in eighth grade and I really really wanted blue hair and I was like bro I could get like blue bangs and I went to a salon around my house I think I had like 75 bucks I spent all of it and it was so shitty all they literally did was like they only did highlights to my hair and they painted them like a turquoise blue with i think it was like manic panic and it was like a small ass container kind of looked like this let me show you guys it kind of looked like this they sold me that and they did my hair did my hair um they did such a shitty job and then my dad was like so pissed off because i came home and i told him exactly I asked them like, so how long is my hair gonna stay like this? Do I have to dye it all the time? What's going on? How often do I have to come back or whatever? And then they were like, mm, you could come back in like a month so we can keep doing the roots back up and back up and back up. And it was, I think they were gonna charge me like 35 bucks every single time that I went. So that was bullshit. And they told me that the hair would start fading pretty quickly because it was like a semi-permanent dye it was just horrible and my hair was like turquoise i don't know who the fuck told me it was okay to do turquoise and it wasn't even like painted nicely it would be like from here like blue but you could be able to see like the yellow i don't know it was just a really bad look for me i don't know what i was thinking but ever since then i just started bleaching my hair at home i watched videos i started learning on my own and here we are now so yeah and my hair has you know it's pretty fucking long it's good it does its thing and it still grows i don't like to bleach it all the way up here because that's not good for you just letting you know yeah for all my broke ass bitches that you guys don't have a lot of money like me because we just come from being poor um or you just live in a big city and we're poor you're just poor it it happens it's okay we weren't born into wealth like kim kardashian or um kylie jenner self-made billionaire my ass normally what i do is i go to sally's and if you don't have sally's i don't know what to tell you go figure it out there was probably another store similar to sally's but my sally's is kind of like a beauty salon store for like items that you find at a beauty salon but they sell it at sally's and um i normally just get two things from there um the developer and the bleach and it costs me 30 bucks which isn't that bad to like bleach my whole head and you can continuously i think i've done it like before where i bleach my hair um twice so i've been able to bleach this once and then i bleach it again another time which i mean like my whole freaking hair and i have a lot of hair um so it's a good amount of bleach it's a pretty big tub i'll show you guys everything but yeah if you want to know how i bleach my hair like this and how i get it to this by the way also um you guys don't understand more once i'm actually showing you but this time i got a 20 developer and normally i get a 30 developer only because it lightens your hair a lot quicker and lightens it a lot faster than the 20 developer if you want the 20 developer i recommend it if you're not gonna like if you don't want to go too bright then go ahead and it does lighten your hair it did this exact same thing i used the 20 developer on my hair only because i couldn't remember if i did the 20 or if i did the 30 the last time and now i am positive that i did the 30 because i don't remember bleaching my hair twice and this time i had bleached my hair twice and i don't recommend you doing the sessions like back to back so don't like bleach your hair and then that same afternoon you bleach it again like don't do that at least give yourself a day or two and if your hair feels really dry give yourself a couple of days until it finally like has its natural oils and also don't be washing your hair all the time because that strips it of its natural oils and that's how you get cracked ass like damaged ass fucking hair and don't use heat please do not for the love of god do not use heat don't blow dry your hair don't straighten your hair don't curl your hair don't do anything to your hair because it will fry it and you will end up with nasty ass crispy hair like literally so fucking shitty i gotta brush out my hair and then i'm gonna change but yeah and then i gotta put newspaper all over the place because my parents don't want that shit everywhere i already changed i was forgetting and i set up everything pretty much um the mirror is back there i brushed out my hair and i changed i threw up this morning so i didn't go to work and yeah my dad was just like making fun of me right now and he's like i'm gonna call out and i'm gonna tell them that i have pink eye on the side because i had pink eye like yesterday and then today i just threw up in the morning and it just was not a good look for me and before you guys ask no i'm not pregnant i just had my period like two days ago i need to part it 
this is like one of the worst things that I ate. It's so simple, but I hate it because my hair is just so long. We start from the bottom, and I know Brad Mondo is probably like, fuck no, you don't start from the bottom. Uh, probably. I don't know. Does he? I haven't watched too many of his videos. I mostly just see him like react to other people's videos. By the way, I feel pretty dizzy and I feel like shit, but I wanted to create some content for you guys. And see, I don't have work tomorrow and I don't have work the day after that. So I was like perfect timing for me to just like bleach the shit out of my hair because I've been wanting to do this and I just haven't. Do you see how long it's grown out? Like it's just so grown out and I hate it. It looks disgusting. Well, to me it looks disgusting. I have this little plate. We've used this so many times. It's like leaking dust everywhere. Ugh. Okay. Ah, I'm gonna have to wash this. Dude, I am so uncoordinated today. I have this brush that we use to paint our hair. My mom uses it to dye her hair all the time. And then I have this one that, you know what I'm talking about? And then I have gloves and this is the 20 developer that I'm using. I normally kind of dilute it with water and i i mean i don't know if you're supposed to do that but i personally do that and it works for me and then i use this l'oreal quick blue high performance bleach powder bleach and let me open it so you guys can see what it looks like this one honestly just looks like jizz that's exactly what it looks like the bleach comes with a little scooper it comes in a bag like this I don't know if you guys might need clips, but I need clips. When I'm done bleaching like a certain part, I just cover it and then leave it there and then I can just let it hang so it doesn't go on my neck. Cause I've seen some girls that like let the bleach go onto their neck and I'm just like, bro, what are you doing? Like, I, I don't know what you're doing. You're probably gonna like give yourself a chemical burn. So we're gonna take one scoop, second scoop, three and four. Four scoops, ladies and gentlemen, four scoops. And I'm also gonna add some water, but first, I think I'm gonna try and mix it a little bit. No, I think I should add water first. Okay, cause I've done it before where I just do it with the developer and the bleach and it comes out too thick. Like the consistency is just not to my liking. Um, but the reason why I do like these products is because they don't smell too much. Like they smell, but they don't smell like other products. I've used other bleaches and they just smell like nasty. Like they make your whole bathroom, whole house smell basically. And my parents are not happy with that. They're like, what the fuck? Did you just throw like a chemical bomb in here? And it's like, uh, no, it's just my bleach. <laughs> Just so you guys know, like, it might seem that I'm doing good and, like, I'm chilling, but I'm not chilling. I actually feel really lightheaded and super tired. Like, I just want to knock out and I'm just immensely tired. I don't know what the heck is wrong with me. No, I'm not pregnant. Um, but I just feel so tired. Maybe I'm, like, low in iron. Because I don't really like to eat red meat. Red meat's not, like, a big thing of mine. But I actually did eat some red meat yesterday. I had a hamburger. So... I don't know if it's that. I don't know. Something's wrong with me. Something's definitely wrong with me. I have like a low ass immune system, so I get sick easily. And I've definitely been getting sick. Yeah, I don't know. Let's wait for this to like hurry up. And then um, I'll probably like show you guys when I like take it out. And then I wash it out right here. I'm actually gonna clean this mirror and then move it. Oh shoot, I left a bunch of fucking of that shit there. Okay. I'm gonna clean this mirror right now. So this is 
is pretty much what I ended up getting. Um, I honestly feel like it's not that bad. It's pretty good. The only thing that I kind of like didn't like was mostly just right here. It's still a little tad tiny bit too dark for my liking. I like it just a little bit lighter. Like down here, I like it this type of light. But I do like kind of like the little mixed colors that my hair is giving off like it's like light and it has a little bit of orange and a little bit of darkness but it's bright it's like bleach that's what i was going for i like it i don't know if you guys like it um and if you're gonna dye your hair over this what i suggest is probably not bleaching into your roots because your roots are the ones that like give off all of the nice oils that your hair needs to be super soft because when you have it like this mine it actually feels pretty soft like it doesn't feel that drying but that's because i also put oil in my hair if you don't have oils that you can put in your hair you can also use avocado my mom also used to put mayo in my hair when i was younger um but mayo smells nasty so i don't do that but you can put avocado just like mash it up and put it in your hair or if there's like avocado oil that you can buy go ahead and put avocado oil in your hair um you can always warm it up olive oil also helps i think it's olive oil don't entirely remember don't quote me on that you should probably look it up but that's just to like help the your hair become softer this is pretty much what it came out to i had a lot of fun doing this so i don't know i like it like this i don't like to tone it because it just makes other weird shit happen to my hair if i end up bleaching it a little bit more i might but not right now maybe in a couple of like weeks maybe a month depending on how i feel about my hair and how i end up liking it because right now i'm not too comfortable with it i feel really weird every time that i look in the mirror i just i don't know like it's comfortable but it's not that comfortable because i just did it it's too recent it's too new it looks weird to me i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i'll see you guys next week